true. Don't ever do that, okay? I love you just the way you are. The second thing is, is can somebody just grab it? It doesn't have to be a guy. Can't a girl just grab it to figure out if it's real or not? Then we can move on. Because I'd, I'd hate to think that it's fake and we're talking about this for no reason. Yeah, uh, Sam, hoax or not? What do we well, know? Uh, do you want to know all the details, Dr. Drew? Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. So here's what we, we've done a lot of digging. So first and foremost, Internet sleuths have been working on the story since it exploded over the weekend. Jasmine told reporters that her alleged plastic surgeon made her sign a non-disclosure agreement. So it was impossible for anyone to verify that she actually had the surgery. Well, a popular hoax busting website alleges Jasmine's real name is Alicia Jasmine Hessler and that Alicia is a Tampa based massage therapist whose business website, Alicia's Golden Touch, interesting, has a band that reads, here's a clue, provider of internet hoaxes since 2014. And now TMZ is reporting that a woman with that same name, Alicia Jasmine Hessler, filed a baggage theft claim with the Tampa International Airport Police Department. And among the stolen items, get this, that she listed is a three breast prosthesis valued at $5,000. So I think it is a hoax. For that information right there. Oh, man. Uh, we cannot confirm that Jasmine Tridevil <laughs> and Alicia Jasmine Hessler are the same person, but Kaylee, you're smiling. Because I, I, I definitely think this is a hoax, and the facts certainly point to that. But Dr. Drew, I mean, I think the fact remains the same, that this woman was, it's a cry for attention, but I think it comes from the cessationalist culture. You know, let's ask ourselves, is what Jasmine is what she did any different than Kim Kardashian and Paris Hilton putting out sex tapes or Miley Cyrus and all the sensationalist things she's done? These young women learn from stars like this. It creates this culture of people just seeking fame and doing really crazy things. Danielle, I have to agree with Kaylee. What do you say? We have to stop making stupid people famous. <laughs> this reward <laughs> for bad behavior is yes. awful. Wait, can I go first before that's over? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. No, I mean, can I be one more stupid famous person before it's over? Oh, <laughs> one more thing's over. <laughs> no, yeah, you're well, not you know, stupid. In a way, Jason, you know, males doing these outrageous sort of stunts is in that same category, is it not? You know, the story of the jackass stuff? Uh, well, I think that it's some of those stunts. Some of those guys are my friends, so I've got to watch what I say. But I think... No, they're uh, my friends, too. Listen, they're my friends, too. But I'm just saying, it's sort of, you know, it, but it, the guys we know are professionals, to be fair. That's and they what made I a think. career I think, out of this. I don't think but, every kid could do that. So I think it's, it's harder than you think.